Bonjour et bienvenue à une autre vidéo de français avec Monsieur Robichaud. Hello and welcome to another French help video with Mr. Robichaud. So in today's video, I'm going to quickly go over on how to use word reference. Word reference is a very powerful translating application that you can use to help you out in any language. And a lot of my students tell me that it's very hard to use or that it's confusing or that there's lots of information. And well, yeah, they're kind of right. There is a lot of information on word reference, but they're wrong in the sense that it's hard to use and very confusing. Uh, so let me give you a very quick uh, tutorial on how to use it. So first thing we're going to do is on our Google Chrome window or Safari or Microsoft Edge, whatever browser you're using, you're going to type in www.wordreference.com. Once the page loads up, you'll see this lovely web page. And the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to scroll to the middle of the page and there's a little drop down box. We need to set our language. So mine is already set from English to French, but yours may be not. So go ahead, click this little box. And as you can see, there's lots of languages we can cho choose from. You're going to scroll up all the way until you see French and you're going to click from English to French because I'm going to be looking up a word in English and learning how to be say how to say it in French today. If I had the word in French and I wanted to look it up in English, I do the reverse. I do French to English, but we're going from English to French today. And the first word I want to look up is a nice and easy one, a table. So once the web page loads, the first thing you want to make sure is that the word that you searched is the word that shows up here. Okay. The next, all this stuff over here, don't worry about it. It's not important for you. Okay. You're going to scroll down to where you see this spot that says principal traduction or main translations in English. Okay, so you will have two options right now. So you have three categories. So you have the first category over here, which is Anglais, which means the word in English. You have this middle category, which is a more specific definition of that word. And then you have the third category, which is Francais, so uh, the word in French. So like I said, the first category is the word in English, so the word we looked up, table. Second category is a more specific definition of it. So for example, a furniture or a surface with legs. We know that's the table that I was talking about most likely. And when I look it up into the French side, it turns into table, which is an NF beside it. Hmm. What does this NF mean? Well, if you hover over it, it'll give you a lesson. It'll tell you it's a non feminine. So it's a noun that is feminine. Okay. We need to use la or une in front of it. Okay. But if you, and then right under it, it'll give you a sentence as an example. Just put your drink down on the table beside the sofa. Mets ta boisson sur la table à côté du canapé. Okay. Now, it gives us a second option. So let's figure out what this table is. So this table, when we get more specific, it's talking about a chart. So like maybe a table of values in math. Um, so if we want to translate it in French, it becomes tableau, which is an NM now. And it must stand for non masculin. So it's a noun again, because a table is still a noun, a table of values. It's a thing. Okay, and the M means that it's masculine. So we need to use le or un in front of it. So we can have un tableau or le tableau dans la page de math, I guess, if you want to call it. Okay, so once again, gives you another, um, another example there. But it's really not that hard to use. Uh, the stuff underneath it is traduction supplémentaire. These are like, if the word is used in a very like one-off sentence or very one-off meaning, or let's say you have a compound word, um, which table does not have one, I believe. No, table does not have one. Um, but if you have like a compound word, which is like, uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head right now, but if I can think of one while I'm editing this video, I'll put it in. Uh, that is where you'd find this word over here. Okay. Uh, maybe like chainsaw, chain saw. Huh. A chainsaw would give me, oh, uh, no, one word. Okay. Uh, but you get what I mean. They're for compound words. So when you have two words that are ooh, two words that are translating into one. Uh, so I hope this video helped you guys uh, with realizing how easy it is to use word reference. I hope that wasn't too long. Uh, until the next video, bonne chance, à la prochaine.